my god. It is 9.35 and I'm going to bed. This is the earliest I have gone to bed in the whole four months of quarantine because tomorrow I'm going on a date with myself. <laughs> I know, I know. I see how this could be tragic. There's no disappointments. There's no expectations. Who knows me better than me? And maybe on behalf of all of us who are single, you come on this date with me. This is our date. Yes, it's my date, but it's our date. Good night. Best part about having curly hair, your bed head is just your hair. This is gonna have to be a no. God, it's empty. Track suits and red wine, movies for two. There's something so we'll special about the morning. And we'll turn off our shoes. We'll play Nintendo, though I always lose. Cause you'll watch the TV while I'm watching you. There's not many people I'd honestly say I don't mind losing to. What? There's nothing like doing nothing with you OMG! They're on a date too! Finding local adventures with yourself is so underrated Come on! <laughs> this is me and my spot Bye! I'll say it's stupid Catch me cry. Hey, look how happy We're I not am. making out on a boat in the rain. Or in a house oh, that I've yeah. been to blue. But it's there's nice. nothing like doing nothing with you. How are sunrises free? Oh my god. Whoever taught us growing up that you need to be with someone else in order to be happy is a liar and it's just sad and alone. Because let me tell you, you can be alone and not be sad. You can be alone and not be lonely. You can be single and you can be very happy. And you can be in a relationship and you can be really happy. It's, it's just whatever you want to do. It's not dependent on the other person. It's dependent on you. If another person makes you happy, amazing. But your happiness should not be reliant on someone else. Bruh, the fact I can sit here on my own, on my own little adventure. I feel so content. I seriously think one day I'm gonna be that, I'm gonna be that hippie girl who like lives in a van or something. I don't know, I just, I love being in nature. It just, this is it for me, I love it. So shut all the windows and lock all the doors. We're not looking for no one, don't need nothing more. You'll bite my lip. And I'll want you more till, till we end up in a heap on the floor Wow, I'm reading about midlife crisis. I'm, I'm not 50 yet, but it's interesting. <laughs> Is there such thing as a... 20 year old crisis true happiness has nothing to do with pleasure 
because the reliance on feeling good from such intensely stimulating external things only moves us further from real joy. I agree. Times where I feel so rubbish and try and mask that rubbishness in <laughs> wishing I was abroad or wishing I was with certain people. At the end of the day, it doesn't take that much for you to feel content. You can feel content anywhere. Mindfulness is so underrated. If you feel some kind of lack as to why you need some fancy clothes, that lack is not gonna go away when you buy some clothes. It's just gonna stay there and you want more. Sunrises are clarifying experiences. I recommend waking up for one. Okay, so this book is pretty fascinating. I'm just reading this whole section about changing you, breaking the habit of being yourself as you know yourself to be right now. I don't know, maybe the one who's insecure, the one who gets angry unnecessarily, the one who is attached to material goods. Whatever it is you want to self-improve. Let me read you a passage. Okay. Most people focus on three things in life, their environment, their bodies, and time. They don't just focus on those three elements, they think equal to them. But to break the habit of being yourself, you have to think greater than the circumstances of your life. Be greater than the feelings that you have memorized in your body and live in a new line of time. If you want to change, you must have in your thoughts an idealized self, a model that you can emulate, which is different from you and better than you. The you that exists today in your particular environment, body and time. Current neuroscientific theory tells us that the brain is organized to reflect everything we know in our environment. All the information we've been exposed to throughout our lives in the form of knowledge and experiences is stored in the brain's synaptic connections. As the environment causes us to think day to day, familiar networks of nerve cells fire that reflect previous experiences already wired in the brain. Essentially, we automatically think in familiar ways derived from past memories. If your thoughts determine your reality, which in many ways they do, because if you think your thoughts will also impact how you feel, your thoughts can change your actions, your thoughts literally therefore do change your life based off of how you carve them. If your thoughts determine your reality and you keep thinking the same thoughts, which are a product and reflection of the environment, then you will continue to produce the same reality day after day. You may not think that your environment and your thoughts are that rigidly similar and that your reality so easily can be reproduced. But when you consider that your brain is a complete record of your past and your mind is the product of your consciousness, in one sense, you might always be thinking in the past. By responding with the same brain hardware that matches what you remember, you're creating a level of mind that is identical to the past because your brain is automatically firing existing circuits to reflect everything you already know, have experienced, and thus can predict. Your past is your present, which is now becoming your future. In time, you'll begin to think in the box because your brain will fire a finite set of circuits that then create a very specific mental signature. This signature is called your personality. And because how we think, feel and behave is in essence our personality, it is our personality that creates our personal reality. So to create a new personal reality, a new life, we must create a new personality. We must become something else. To change then is to think and act greater than our present circumstances greater than our environment. And to a lot of you that probably makes <laughs> no sense. But I think this is getting into what the law of attraction is. The law of attraction speaks to the fact that what you think and the way you are thinking about it, regardless of what your reality and your environment look like, does shape how your reality goes. And let's dive into that. That sounds a bit, well, I don't know. Every single day, you wake up and you're complaining and you're sad and you're negative and, and trust me i know when i say these things it is i can feel people being like it's so easy for you to say like look you're actually sat by a lake jade and i do live a very privileged life compared to a lot of people but it does not change the fact that regardless of your environment the way you shape your thoughts is doing something to the way that you are acting. If you're complaining every day, but you don't try and shift your mind into where you actually wanna be, it's like you can't expect an actionable, happy new reality if you don't change your thoughts to, to mirror that actionable, happy reality. If you absolutely got into the mindset 
of the person you wanted to be externally too. You might not be rich. You might not live where you want to live. You might not have the friends that you want to have in real life. But if you act like you do, imagine you act like you already have all the friends that you want and the type of friends you want, you act like you are that good friend, you will attract those like-minded people. But it starts from here. If you keep saying to yourself, I have no friends, I have no friends, I have no friends, well, you're not trying to move towards the, the, the you that has good friends, if that makes sense. Don't focus on other people. Who cares about other people? Focus on you. Bring yourself to feel as content as you would having all the abundance in friends in the world. Again, I can feel the, oh my God, she's so privileged. What is this? But there are things in my life that you guys don't know. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you the, the deepest and darkest family things of the past. People ask how I stay so positive and it's, I don't know. It's practice. It's a choice. When things go wrong, you just, you just choose to be optimistic. It's not always easy, you just do it. Okay, I'm gonna eat a satsuma. They're on a cute date too. Hi. Okay, because actually no one's here and I can do what I like. I'm going to sing a song. If I could have brought my ukulele, I would have. I'm gonna sing Genesis by Daniela Andrade. If this is apocalypse, at first there was a genesis. I think I let myself exist. Under this body moon But first I gotta let go of the things I tried to be First I gotta let go of these faces next to me First I gotta give up everything I can't control Get that moderation in my system and on to the next Move on to the next Move on to the next. Move on to the next. Maybe I know what's up. Maybe I am mostly wrong. But one thing that I know for sure is everywhere I go, I go. Not only it takes some time. Diamonds are a little shy. One na 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 At first I gotta let go of the things I tried to be. At first I gotta let go of these faces next to me. At first I gotta give up everything I can't control. Get the moderation in my system and move on to the next. Also, <laughs> I'm not trying to be an unjaded singer. Singing just feels very liberating. <laughs> flying fish! I don't think I've ever seen these in real life. They're just flying! <laughs> Nature's so cool. In your mind, what do you think of as success? What is a successful lifestyle? Because the more I think about it, society makes me think, okay, success is like big corporate job, working like all the time, amazing paycheck, but like not that much free time to come and watch sunrises and just chill with family. And more and more I'm just thinking, is success having just enough? like enough money to live your life to do simple meaningful good things for example now instead of paying for some sunrise cruise around the mediterranean i feel like i would get just as much joy from waking up a sunrise cycling for ages to get to this lake kind of near my house it just makes me think like in the future instead of chasing reputation career title sound fancy work 24 7 why am i not chasing a career that will just make me happy day to day and then I have just time and I can just do what I like. 
Like, isn't that what everyone wants to do at retirement and stuff? It makes me just want autonomy. It makes me just want to work for myself. Put out something good. Put out good creative stuff in the world and then the rest of my time just enjoy. Too bad I'm a workaholic. <laughs> it is now nearly 8am which means I've been awake for like three and a half hours. I really miss waking up this early. I'm gonna pack up. I'm gonna head home and I just feel inspired. I feel good. I hope you feel good too. Also, if you can't remember the last time you saw sunrise, this is me begging you to wake up for one. Because that right there is magic and you're just missing it without even knowing. No, there's nothing like doing nothing with you. Thanks for coming. Go ask yourself on a date. <laughs>